Hi, and welcome to another episode of Crystal Dreams. My name is Rafael, and today we're going to talk about the importance of reading books. So stay tuned for more information. Most people finish school and pack up their books, but this is a big mistake. Life doesn't end after school, nor should your education, especially self-education. The reason why I wanted to make this video is to remind people of how important it is to read and educate yourself. Almost everything you're interested in is not taught in school. School will not teach you the most important things in life, such as finding your purpose and your passion. School doesn't teach you about how to build mental strength, how to build emotional intelligence, how to manifest, how to connect with your intuition. So you have to learn all that by yourself through books. Think about it for a moment. If you want to learn about science, you read a book about science. If you want to learn about mathematics, you read a book about mathematics. So why should it be any different if you want to learn about life? We're so privileged that we can access this information that took maybe years for a person to build and share with us. And then you can learn it in just a few minutes so you don't have to do the same mistakes that they did. That's why I find reading books so important because it saves you so much time, energy, it gives you purpose, it gives you drive, it makes you, uh, it makes you keep going forward. Even when things get difficult ahead, reading books will give you the energy to go the extra mile. Other people tell me that they learn through experience and intuition, which is amazing, but why limit yourself to learning only through those two channels? Why not expand your channels of knowledge? Why not learning through reading as well? Don't build yourself limitations. Books can help you to learn from the experience of authors who travel the same path where you want to go. So you don't have to make the same mistakes they did or you don't have to go through all the process that they did. Some of these authors spend years figuring out what worked for them in life. And you don't have to do the same thing. All you have to do is read a few pages from his book and you'll be able to learn a lot from that so you don't have to spend years figuring it out. Many people tell me they don't like reading books or they don't have time for that. And I always tell them the same answer. Well, it's the same thing as waking up early or going to the gym. Of course, you're not gonna like it at first. You don't like doing it, but you know that if you do it, then you will reap the results through consistency and time. That's the same thing with books. You might not see the results immediately, but you will see them through time. Don't give up after the first week or just because you try to read a book once and you stop. Of course, it's not easy when you first start. You have to train your mind to reach that level. But when you do it through time and repetition and you start seeing the positive results in your life, that will give you the motivation to keep going and get into more in depth into either you working out, uh, reading books, waking up early. It's all the same concept then that's what motivates you to keep doing it more and more and more often. And that's why Arnold Schwarzenegger, he always said, see everything in life as reps, you know, one repetition, two repetitions. So do the same thing with reading. If you're not comfortable, start with one page today, next day do two pages and so on and so forth. And if you don't like reading, well, there is other options. There is podcasts, there is audiobooks. There is uh, videos on motivation. There is so much information in the internet. We live in the era of information. There is so much there that can stimulate your mind in a positive way. That's why we're so privileged to have all this so accessible. That's also something that I really go to on my day-to-day -day basis. I love audiobooks because they allow me to do other things at the same time. So sometimes I'm cooking, I'm listening to audiobooks. Other times I go to the gym. Uh, when I'm going to work, I listen to audiobooks. Uh, when I'm running, I listen to audiobooks. When I just go for a walk in the park, I listen to audiobooks. So you can always be learning and at the same time interacting with your environment. Books can become your guides. Books have the power to give you hope, energy, motivation to go after your goals. In my whole life, I didn't have people around me that would give me great advice. I didn't have many great mentors or people that could teach me all this. So my advisors, my mentors were the books. They were always the ones I would go through uh, for answers. So the books became my mentors. They're the ones who taught me everything. They're the ones who built me, that created me. 
and that's why I'm a big fan of books. There is a popular quote that says, the person that you will be in five years is based on the books you read and the people you hang around with. The people you listen to, the opinions that you believe, and the information that you take in, all that will influence your life in a positive or negative way. So surround yourself with uplifting individuals. And if you don't have those inspirational individuals in your life, then that's another reason to read books. They say successful people have certain things in common. And you know which one is one of them? They read books. This will give you an advantage when things get difficult ahead. Now, when I mean read books about life, I don't mean to read books about science fiction like Lord of the Rings type of shit or Harry Potter. Of course, those books are going to stimulate your mind, but you're going to be missing a lot of factors that are so beneficial for your future. When I mean reading books about life, I mean reading self-help books. Books that are going to make you richer, that are going to make you wiser, that are going to motivate you to go after your dream. When you read a self-help book, you're interacting with that author and he's influencing your life in a positive way, guiding you through their own life experience on how you can reach your goal. So remember, whatever you feed your mind will shape your future. Whatever you think about, you become. Fill your mind with positivity, with abundance, with knowledge, with wisdom, with love. You just have to find what truly works with, for you and put the effort so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please leave us a comment below and let us know what other videos would you like us to do. Thank you.